Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And I got myself a brand new fancy dancy uh, laptop here because of all you fine subscribers over at the Patreon. It's helping me out a little bit. A little thing that I wanted you to know, and if you haven't watched my videos before, go back and check them out. You can find out all about me. Um, when I'm doing these for you, I barely bet at all on these because I find that betting screws up my angles for my bets. Um, it's weird maybe or whatever you want to say. That's the reason why I have a Patreon because I've had people say, hey, what do you need us to go to Patreon and support you for? You're making all this money hitting these picks. I'm not actually. I make money by giving the picks to you and you guys bet. I don't have a gambling problem. In fact, I'm not really a big fan of it necessarily myself, but I do enjoy making people money. It's fun for me. So if you go over to Patreon, uh, subscribe. We got a subscriber yesterday. Thank you very much. We need four more for the week and I'll do free picks for a week. Uh, $3, $7 and $25 just to help us out support this fine programming that I do every day. Also, of course, you're going to get a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace if you subscribe and hit the bell here, sent to you by Melissa and uh, Hernandez in the Pearlocopter. So, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Uh, okay, let's look at the games for today. Um, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets versus the Tampa Bay Lightning, which is starting in a half an hour, so it's probably not helping you out too much here. But... Um, I'm not giving these out, this out to my uh, Patreon members. Paid, it's not a paid pick. So I'm going to lean to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, but, you know, Columbus, you're just waiting for those heroics to come, aren't you? Uh, from Tortorella and all of that. But I just think Tampa Bay is too strong. Uh, possibly winning the Cup this year now that I've watched all the teams. Uh, if you want to do a future... Uh, Tampa Bay would probably be a pretty good bet to win it all. Um, I love Philadelphia. The big thing is going to be that Carter Hart kid getting out of the East. That Carter Hart kid is insane. The best goaltender in the NHL for the next 10 years, I bet. I've been touting him for quite some time now. Um, and then in the West, it looks like it's Vegas or Colorado. And I think Tampa can take both, but that would be one hell of a series. Carolina Boston Bruins. Um, first of all, the Columbus Tampa Bay game is an under at five. I lean to the under. Like I said, I'm not giving any bets to that or anything like that. So if you don't get it, if you do it and you don't get it, I didn't tell you so. It's just a lean. <laughs> Carolina Boston uh, Bruins. I'm wary about this game, but. Okay, Svechnikov is out. But the, I do like that team. The thing is, is he going to put Mrazek in again? Seriously, it's been so obvious that they played better with Reimer in net. Um, although they lost the last one, so it's hard to say. Um, with Mrazek in net, I like Boston. And I, may de I might even lean the over here. If Pasternak was going to be in for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm leaning Boston. I haven't given a pick here either. Colorado, Arizona. Um, I can't really talk about this one. I do have a play on it. Oh, by the way, the Carolina Boston. Yeah, I said lean me over, right? Carolina, Arizona, Colorado. I can't really talk about much. I did have a play on it, but I will talk about the series. My gosh, Darcy Kemper had to have it. I lost my under 6-1 to one on Darcy Kemper. Ugh. I have some things I think can happen because of that. But like I said, I can't talk about it. But it was sad to watch. And um, Arizona, I think, has got to restructure this whole team. They have a new general manager now. I'd be looking at doing all kinds of different things with this team to try to restructure it. I don't like the makeup of the core. I I'm just don't like it. I think they have a great coach in Rick Tockett. But... Uh, there's only so much you can do with a roster that really doesn't have much depth and not much defining players. Like, what is Arizona? It's defensive. They sit back and block shots. You can't do that all day. This team, I understand 
why the previous general manager, uh, Sheka, went out and got Hall and was hoping to sign him because this team needs an identity. And uh, if you got Hall, maybe you start having an identity. Now, this team has an identity of Darcy Kemper and not much else. And that's just not going to get you far, very far. In a market that needs to win, Arizona needs to do something different, I, I believe. Uh, Colorado looks strong, um, probably will win this series. And I said, mentioned that it's between them and Vegas to, to make it out of the West. Um, if that goes between Vegas and Colorado, I'm leaning Colorado. I think I'm sort of looking towards Colorado, Tampa Bay. Mon Montreal Canadiens and Philadelphia Flyers. Um, Philadelphia Flyers, the last game, this is on a, this is a back-to-back now. I'm sure they're going back to Price. I'm pretty positive they're going to Carter. Hart, he's just with two shutouts in a row. you got to keep on rolling with the kid, and the kid doesn't even look like it's bothering him. Seriously. I haven't seen a guy do things so easy in a very long time. He makes goaltending look easy. Patrick Waugh, but Patrick Waugh kind of had this arrogance about him. Carter Hart just has this like, yep, stopped it. Yeah, stopped it. All right, Bo. It's like, peace out, man. <laughs> I love the guy. He's freaking amazing. Um, so that being said, I do have a play for my uh, patrons on this, so I can't say much about this one either. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, um, yeah, Philadelphia Flyers will likely win the series eventually, I would imagine. Uh, Vancouver Canucks, St. Louis Blues. Now, I don't have a play on this with my uh, with my patrons, our clients. So it's not a money pick. Um, this is a tough one. But after what I saw the St. Louis Blues do in Vancouver last game, if they're going to keep on rolling with Allen, I think they could finish it off here. Um I had Vancouver to win this series. This was the only series I believe I'm incorrect about. Oh, no, I would be incorrect about the Carolina series, too. I thought Carolina would win that series. Um, and I don't know why. <laughs> I keep on... Oh, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. But, anyways, as far as this game is concerned, I'll give you a pick here. I'm going to take St. Louis Blues on the money line. You could even stretch it to a PL here. I'm pretty comfortable with St. Louis on this game. Um, five and a half. I think, I think I'd think i lean the under. Lean the under here on this. Uh, I don't think St. Louis's Blues will win a lot. Markstrom is playing way too well. Um, unless Vancouver Canucks, their spirit gets beat up a bit. And uh, if, if the St. Louis Blues get ahead, they generally lock it down rather than keep on trying to score. So yeah, and under seems like a fair play here. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. Tell me what your picks are in the bottom there. Tell me if you have any leans or anything like that. Also, like I said, go over to the Patreon, help me out so I can keep on giving you this fine programming. I'd really like to just give you picks all day. So if we can get five subscribers over there at three bucks a month, and you can stop at any time, and I'm not going to stop it. Three dollars. Go over there and subscribe, and I'll start giving you free picks here every day. You choose which way you want it. Do you want to support a guy who's giving you free picks, or would you prefer it that you go uh, just get these leans and everything like that, like that? That's that's the way we'll do it. Uh, we're bringing patrons over there all the time. We've picked about five in two weeks, and people are very satisfied, although the last two days have been, haven't been my best. Uh, but these playoffs are, are very difficult. But before that, it was three parlays in a row. Uh, we have premium picks there. We're hitting at 80%. Our dog picks are hitting at 60%. Premiums are something that both uh, Brian and I at BPAL, that's BPAL picks. You can go check out, we do videos over there too at BPAL picks on YouTube. Um, that we are, that are premium plus money picks that we're very bullish on. Uh, dog picks are also what we agree on that are just dog picks, like they're just plus money, but they're not necessarily quite as bullish. By the way, Ricketts, Rickett Picks, he is freaking fantastic. I highly recommend you go check him out. Capper's Comparisons doing uh, 
more soccer and stuff like that if you're into that. I love his fine programming as well. And I love you guys. Thank you for coming in and enjoying the enjoying this fine programming. Catch you tomorrow with some more fine picks. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.